Israeli intelligence has flattened the homes and killed some of the Hamas leaders. Is that enough to decapitate some of the leaders, not the rest of you, as you mentioned, 30,000 or so armed terrorists? No chance at all. You don't have to look any further than we took out Osama bin Laden. That did nothing to al-Qaeda except that they put another guy in charge. We saw al-Baghdadi from ISIS taken out. Had no impact on the organization. They just replaced him. I saw this myself many times in, in my deployments to Afghanistan. Every time we would take out a Taliban leader, there would be another one right away to take his place and the, the fight would go on. There's just too many people there. And look, the other issue that's important to understand is even if you somehow manage to kill all of the Hamas people, you can't destroy the the intellectual, the the mental situation that this Islamic Jihad is, is in this area. The conditions that led to the rise of Hamas are now infinitely worse than they were before. And Israel's going to have to come to grips with that, that they could literally win tactically and then still lose strategically because the threat will remain. Yeah, and that's the final point. I mean, how do you defeat the mentality and the philosophy of radical Islamic terrorism, which is like the Nazis. How do you defeat that hatred and anger and that desire to behead babies? Eric, you don't. That's just the blunt, unpleasant truth of it. You, you don't destroy that. And look, because of all the heinous destruction that happened with Hamas, I think trying to bait Israel into a, an overreaction, maybe even trying to pull the United States in, because I think they want to expand this beyond the Gaza Strip. It's our intent to make sure it stays in the Gaza Strip. But that's what they're going to want to do. And they clearly don't care about anyone's life, theirs or anyone else's. And they're going to continue to fight no matter what happens. And the opportunity for for some kind of negotiated settlement was on the other side the, before the start of this war. And now then, Eric, there's no good answers here. There's all bad answers, and it's just a matter of which one Israel's going to take. But they have to retaliate for what happened here. They just have to make sure that they don't cause themselves more trouble, and that's easier said than done.